It all happened in February 1939 at a place called Derry Giff near Ben Lalek, County Fermanagh. The Derry Giff murder is one of Fermanagh's darkest stories and still provokes debate to this very day. Frederick Dowler, Fred as he was widely known, had an extra thumb on his right hand. Fred married a girl from Cavan. Her name was Lillian. They renovated their home and were known as a happy, friendly couple. The couple employed a farm assistant called James Willoughby and a housemaid called Jane McPherson. The area in which they lived was a small, tight-knit community. Gossip started to spread that Lillian and James were having an affair. It is thought that Jane was probably the person who leaked the rumours, as apart from James, she was the one person who spent most time at the Dowlers. What happens next is rather bizarre. One day, just out of the blue, Fred fired James. No one knows for sure if indeed Fred had found out that his wife was having an affair with James, however, it does seem like the only reason for his dismissal. Life got back to normal. One day, six weeks later, Lillian ran to a neighbour's house and started banging on the door. Hurry, hurry, Lillian shouted. Something's wrong with Fred. Quickly, the neighbour ran with Lillian up to the Dowler house to find Fred lying in the kitchen in a pool of his own sweat. He was in considerable pain and was finding it difficult to breathe. Several other neighbours started to arrive at the house. They lifted Fred off the floor and tried to put him in a seat in the living room. However, he started to take convulsions. Several minutes later, he managed to stand up and grab Lillian. His last words were, Lillian, don't leave me. At that, he fell dead on the floor. In the following days, Fred was buried at Cleanish Church Graveyard in Belenelec. A short time later, Jean McPherson informed some locals that Fred had been sick on the morning of the day he died. He had vomited in his farmyard, and later that day, a goose had eaten some of the vomit. The goose also died. Sometime later, something else happened that made the locals even more suspicious. Lillian re-employed James Willoughby. Through time, more and more locals started to suspect that Lillian had poisoned her husband. The police decided to question the locals, many of whom wanted to stay quiet. After some time, the police decided that all they could do was apply for a license and have the body exhumed, and have an autopsy performed to determine if indeed Fred Dowler had been poisoned. A license was granted, and the autopsy took place in a shed in Ben Lalek under police guard. Word broadened, and it was no time before this became national news. The Derry Giff murder was the heading in all the newspapers. Sure enough, strychnine, a lethal poison, was found in several of Fred's body organs. It was known that Lillian Dowler had purchased strychnine in a chemist's shop in Enniskillen, which she said was to poison rats. A legal trial took place in Belfast starting on the 12th of December 1939. After some days, the judge decided that James Willoughby was innocent as he had not been to the Dowler's farm for six weeks before Fred was poisoned. The judge further decided that Lillian Dowler was innocent as there was simply no evidence to prove that she murdered her husband. Lillian and James were free and they were finally able to be together. However, neighbours decided to keep their distance from Lillian and James. Eventually, they decided to put their farm up for sale and move away for good. <laughs>